Hey Scorpio, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? Um, we're going to do your reading for February 11th through the 17th. And I'm using the Angel Tarot deck by Jane Wallace. And I like this deck because it's, it's a little bit bigger and real easy for you guys to see, real colorful, um, just, just a really pretty deck. I'll do one more. All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. I will tell you that there is an interesting energy in a lot of these readings today. Um, Kind of a contradictory energy as well as um, a lot of internal energies going on so we'll see what's going on for you here Scorpio all right so we have four of Pentacles you might be holding on to something somebody or holding on to your resources um, for security purposes. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So you're holding on to something. This is um, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then we've got the Seven of Swords, which is um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Air sign. So the Seven of Swords, you know, can indicate that somebody or you is being <clears throat> defensive, maybe over what you're holding on to. It could be a person, it could be resources of some kind. Man, these swords are coming out. There were a lot of swords in the Aries reading. <clears throat> So you might want to check that out. Um, there's some indecision and uncertainty about, about something or somebody. There's a defensive energy here and you're hanging on. Somebody's hanging on. King of Pentacles. There might be some indecision about somebody in your life, King of Pentacles. This could be you or this could be somebody else that is indecisive right now. They're hanging on, they're hanging on to something but they're indecisive about how to move forward and they're defensive. And when, with regards to the Seven of Swords, it can be that you're fighting off some type of, you're defensive about something that is really just an illusion. Three of Wands. So somebody is expanding their horizons or trying to. I think that's what this Two of Swords is about, is somebody is trying to come to some type of decision about how to move forward and I feel like they do come to that conclusion I don't think they have yet but they will come to this conclusion I think it's this king of Pentacles because this king of Pentacles is looking forward to the right towards the future but I think this king of Pentacles is in this two of swords energy right now and has been quiet 
and feeling like they have to defend something or they are they feel like they have to defend something that that they really don't okay because swords are in their head and it can easily I mean how many times do you do you find yourself overthinking something or thinking the worst case scenario only to find out it's the complete opposite I think this King of Pentacles is very worried about a, a you know about something a situation perhaps with you moving forward possibly a fear of of rejection moving forward although that's very uncharacteristic of this king who's very generous and trusting and trusts what he knows but I feel like he's questioning which is unusual for this person <clears throat> okay so if you know this person and you find this person to be very confident, outgoing, um, successful, you would, you would also think that this is very uncharacteristic of this person to be so indecisive and so lacking in the ability to make a decision going forward. And if they're not speaking to you, it's because of this energy. They know what they want to do, but they're, they're feeling some fear around doing it. They are going to move forward. They are going to make a decision. The Emperor. I think this supports exactly what I just said. Okay? So he's going to be moving into this Emperor energy here, where he's confident and he is able to take action and move forward. Because the emperor has gained wisdom internally and externally. So he's gonna get out of this swords energy, this defensive, you know, illusionary state of mind. He's going through the process here. He's making the decision. If you can, okay, so this is such a masculine reading. <laughs> um, it really, truly is. This is, all, and this is what I was talking about to begin with. Okay, this is about, this is about a masculine energy, whether it's you or somebody else. This is about what they are going through right now, okay? Notice what's missing. There are literally no cups in this, in this reading. And that has happened, I think, in two other readings as well, um, where there have been no cups. So this person is trying to make a decision based on logic, okay? And the reason that it's taking them as long as it's taking them is because that's what they're doing. They're they're trying to logically figure out you know how to move forward how to move forward without fear but they're they're missing a, a key component which is tapping into truly their intuition and how they feel okay that's why it takes mat some masculine energies some time to to make certain decisions and be able to move forward I would love to see <laughs> some cups um, come through you know for this um, for this particular masculine energy but they are gonna get there but I will tell you that they got they are gonna get here but they got here through logic so it is a head over heart decision versus heart over head all right so they are logically trying to to figure this out is what it, it feels like to me but they are going to do it 
but this is a very, very masculine energy. Swords, okay, and wands are masculine, okay? Pentacles and cups are more feminine energies. Slower moving energies. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. One more. True love. All right, so that's what they're, they're trying to figure out, but they're trying to figure it out with logic. You can't figure love out with logic. It isn't logical. It isn't. And you know what? Here's the deal. Anytime that you look back on who you have fallen in love with, is there really any rhyme or reason to it? And the reason that there isn't, okay, is because you didn't choose that love. That love chose you. Okay? Think about that. Let go of control issues. Uh, yeah, King of Pentacles and Emperor. <laughs> Let go of your logical control issues and feel something. All right? And you know what? I'm not saying that logic is bad at all. Okay, don't get me wrong at all. I mean, but that is a masculine, typically a masculine trait. And the female or the feminine is usually... Um, guided by her heart and her emotions all right so that's why women or feminine energies can come to um, can come to some of these decisions faster is because they're being guided by their heart and it's not to say that masculine energies you know aren't feeling or you know, experiencing truly heartfelt feelings. But in this reading, this is definitely logic, head over heart. Okay? And that's why it's taking a while. All right? So, but it's about true love. He's got to he's got to find his cups. Okay? All right. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio, and uh, I wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. I will be doing um, a Valentine's Day reading, and uh, and thank you so much. And I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.